Right. So just to follow up to how you can set stop losses within um, trading view for connected brokers, this is a real cheat. It's not, it's not, you know, it's a bit of a hack. I'm pretty sure if you're a Forex trader within trading view, you can automatically set up trailing stop losses. But I like to have the ability to trail a stock and not have to um, manually move my stops each time. Um, as an example, if I looked at something uh, like, um, let me just save this to make sure it doesn't go away. If I was to look at something, I don't want to also move away from this one, so let me open up a new window. Um, if I was to look at something like um, uh, Abercrombie and Finch, Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Fitch. So this stock here has just been going straight up for ages. And you can see that, um, you know, if you had something like a better, I, I, don't, I don't know what the percentage would be. You've got to use an ATR tool or, you know, some sort of specialized indicator. But, um, you know, if I look at that, that's probably got about a 10% trailing stop loss that would just, you know, literally, you know, follow this up, you know, all the way up very neatly. Um, if I went to... Um, uh, indicators and metrics and I went to moving average simple and let's make it a bit bigger let's make it a bit fatter and let's experiment with him so You can just see how neatly this stock follows it up. So, you know, a 40 day moving average, you know, it goes up, touches it, goes up, touches it, goes up, comes back, goes up, la da 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 da, you know, touches it, goes back up. So, you know, if you wanted to manually put in one of those stops that I showed in the previous video, just use a 40 day moving average. And that way, you know, if it ever breaks it, you know, the trend is probably, you know, over. Um, you might even give yourself a bit more room. You might even say make it a 50, which is a more traditional moving average. Um, if you're going to try and put a stop loss on this thing. But the point of this exercise is if you've got the right tools to let you know exactly what the percentage stop loss should be, um, then you can set a trailing stop loss, which is trailing stop loss, which is what I always like to set. Of course, I've lost my stupid chart. But let's go back to um, uh, ARM, ARM. And so back on ARM, get rid of that. And so this is a real cheat, but... Um, I haven't got any uh, orders, you know, there's no open orders, I own ARM. Um, if I go across to trade stations, so I've actually gone across to the actual broker, and I'm sure you can probably do this with interactive brokers and, you know, every other connected broker, I'm, I'm guessing, but I, I've done it in the past with, um, uh, with um, uh, trade station. So if I go to my positions, I click on ARM and I go trade. And that automatically opens this one up here. I know that I've got 17 that I hold. I'm going to change the order type to a trailing stop percent. I could also use a trailing stop dollar value, um, but I'm going to say trailing stop percent. I'm going to say I want to trail this by 20%. Um, intelligent, good to close. That's my account. Um, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to hit sell. And so I'm going to go send. I always feel like I need to cross my fingers when I put these things out. So it says sent order. So now I want to go back to here. And so see how I've now got a sell stop. And so that's going to be a trail. And I'd have to come back and check it in a future video. But I'm quite sure that's now 20% trailing stop. Because it's being powered by TradeStation. But it's simply being displayed um, by TradingView. So um, if I get my little tool and I click on him and I click on that and I go from here down to here see how that's roughly 20 percent you know if I, if I was closer on my close and my you know my stop area it'd be roughly 20 percent so um, I'm fairly confident that that's now going to be a 20 percent trailing stop so I'll I'll leave it here and depending what happens well it won't it'll only move so that you know I hope everyone knows what a trailing stop is but 
the short version, it's only going to move up if the stock moves up. So it'll always stay within 20% of the stock moving up. But if the stock starts moving down, it won't move down at all. So it's just a very good way of chasing the price up. And if it turns around by 20%, which might be a break of trend, um, then it'll automatically exit it, exit you out of the trade. So as I said, I'll leave it there. It's a little bit of a hack to you know switch across to the broker and apply it. But it is a way of adding trailing stop losses to um, you know connected brokers on TradingView um, where the trail isn't a default part of the um, TradingView functionality yet. Anyway, a bit of a workaround, but um, I like it. I do like it. Thanks for listening. I should just say before that, let's go down to orders. I'd be interested to see what it says down here. So it says it's a stop, which isn't unfair because, you know, trailing, a, a trail is effectively a stop order. As you can see, it's a sell. It doesn't tell me necessarily if it's a trail, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm going to click on it and tell me anything. No, it doesn't matter. Anyway, a bit of fun. So let's see what it does and see if it moves. And I'll post a screenshot if it does, if, it, if this thing goes up. Thank you for listening.